Hi, welcome to the Brain Injury Answers Podcast. This is Dr. David Glazer providing the answers you need when a brain injury occurs. This podcast is for educational purposes only. For treatment, please consult your physician. This podcast does not represent the Department of Veterans Affairs. All right, let's get started. Question, what's the prognosis? Answer, this is a great question. And it's also does not have a straightforward answer. Unfortunately, nobody has a crystal ball to predict the course of a patient with a brain injury and the patient's recovery. When looking at the recovery of a patient with a brain injury, we first have to consider what type of brain injury did they have. Was it a mild traumatic brain injury, also known as a concussion? Or was it a moderate or severe brain injury? First off, I will talk about some factors that affect both a mild brain injury and a moderate and severe injury. When looking at overall general factors, females usually take longer than males to recover, whatever a quote-unquote full recovery is, because a brain injury in many cases can be a long-term chronic illness, especially if it was a moderate to severe injury. The good news is, is that a mild brain injury, most patients will recover within a couple weeks, but there are some that will continue to have long-term chronic symptoms from their brain injury. Patients who had any sort of mental health diagnosis, such as depression or bipolar or anxiety disorders, will generally have a longer road to recovery than a patient without. Patients that had prior medical illnesses will also have a longer road to recovery. Patients that used drugs and alcohol and smoked cigarettes will also have a longer road to recovery. For the science people out there, looking at genetics, patients that have the APOE-4 gene generally take longer to recover. Now switching over to the recovery of a patient with a moderate to severe brain injury, again everything we just mentioned still applies, but generally these patients might be in comas, might have had more surgery done to their brain, and will generally have a much longer time course of recovery. You'll see the most amount of recovery within the first six months. And then you'll see more recovery within the first year. Some even say within the first three years. But the good news is, is that our brain is always making new connections. And our brain is always recovering. And what's important to know about recovery is not just the progress, but also the prevention of medical illnesses. A patient may develop a urine infection. A patient may develop a pressure ulcer. A patient may develop pneumonia. So the more that is done to prevent this and then aggressively treat this will help better the prognosis. We also find that the length of time that someone is in a post traumatic amnesia state, meaning not able to make new memories and carry those memories from day to day, often indicates a longer time to recovery. Other research has shown that the sooner one is able to follow commands 
or instructions, the better and sooner the recovery will be. Patients with a higher age will take longer to recover than a younger patient. So as you've seen so far, basically what we've talked about is that patients that are healthier before their illness of their brain injury and who are younger when their brain injury occurs and who begin to show better signs of recovery sooner will often have a better prognosis than patients who are more sick before their injury occurs and who take a longer amount of time to follow commands and carry memories from day to day. But the most important thing to remember is no brain is exactly the same and every patient recovers differently and every patient will recover to some degree but nobody again has that crystal ball to predict the future and know when where and how much recovery will happen that's a wrap for today Remember to email all your questions to braininjuryanswers at gmail.com. Check out the website www.braininjuryanswers.com. Thanks for listening.